no wonder this is such a uh, uh, even. Whoa, this is laser. Mm -hmm. Anytime I'm on these moving sidewalks, I like to think that I'm Usain Bolt or the Flash. Just walking a little bit faster. So it is 6.30ish right now. My flight boards at 7.30. I've been here since 3.30. Uh, I recently got TSA uh, pre-check, the global entry kind of thing. So after my dad dropped me off at Terminal 1, it took me like 45 seconds to get through security. It was fantastic. Otherwise, I would have been standing security for at least 45 minutes, even though it's not even peak times because it's O'Hare. So uh, I'm editing videos. I finished up work, uh, a lot of YouTube shorts. I'll leave a link to the vocal cyclone tennis string review, the one I'm editing right now and uploading in this corner, this one, if you guys haven't checked out already. So I'm gonna grab another beer or two, uh, and then board in an hour after I upload. Guess where I'm gonna be going? Leave a comment down in the section below. Good to be back, eh? Yep. Absolutely. Let's go get some food. I'll go home and pick one up. Tour life. Woo! No rain delays today. No. Um, let's get breakfast or you already ate, right? No, I didn't eat. All right, let's go. Let's go eat. Let's go hustle. Let's go eat. He's like this. Like... <laughs> Love what's up. This is fancy. Yeah, I thought it was just that. I didn't know it was this. Yeah. Like, you got bacon. I'm, you know I love sausage. Got me some Polish sausage. <laughs> oh, they get some quiche. Quiche? Quiche. Quiche. Chat, how do you say it? Quiche? Quiche? You got hash browns. Pancake. Yep. Scrambled eggs. <laughs> It's pretty good one, huh? I'd give it like an eight out of ten. I'd give it an eight out of ten out of aesthetics by itself. Well, that's because I'm here. Oh, yeah. I know yesterday was Valentine's Day, but this saucer is making me feel insecure, dude. <laughs> Tour life, 2024. <laughs> um, so we're in Calgary, actually very close to a lot of things. Uh, I don't know if this is technically downtown Calgary. We're in at Carriage and Horse Hotel. What is it called? Uh, the Carriage House Hotel, which is eight minutes away from the Victoria Tennis Center. Uh, so we're actually just gonna walk. Um, so we Ubered from YYC, which is Calgary International Airport. Uh, took about 25, 30 minutes to get here for Uber. Only like, what, 35 Canadian? For a 30 minute Uber, was, I mean, not bad at all. Yeah. But the, the prices peak, went the down. Peak, the peak time was like 100, yeah. and then it went down to 35 by the time you arrived. So yeah, so that 30 minutes long. saved a, like, you know, 60 Canadian. Um, so uh, part of the tour life is having a good location for the hotel. If you don't have access to a car or if you don't want to pay for an Uber, we're going to go grocery shopping for bananas, uh, food. Egg egg, egg, <laughs> I love eggplants. <laughs> but most importantly, I need some Canadian vodka because we're in Calgary. But um, we, there's a grocery store, what is it called again? Uh, Calgary uh, Ops or something like that? Calgary Co-op, uh, a grocery store uh, is about five minutes away, so we're gonna go there. Um, so keep in mind, it's in Calgary, so it's like, what, 10 degrees Fahrenheit right now? Yeah, it's like At, minus 20 right now. Jesus. Yeah. Well, that's a high. So that's why I'm dressed like, men's not hot, quick maps. We are going to go grocery shopping because I need, we need food. I don't want to spend. And some supplies for men's supplies. Bananas, what else? 
Gatorade? Yeah, Gatorade. Uh, Pedialyte for drinking? <laughs> Pose drinking? All right, Pose drinking. Wake up shaking. We got some stuff here, though. All right, let's go. Good point. I got three hours to go on my vacation straight. It's a bit nippy here, eh? It was 45, 50 degrees Fahrenheit in Milwaukee when I left at, at noon. So this is a bit nippy. Yeah. Real? Oh, yeah. Well, Toronto's like Milwaukee in terms of weather. But. Take a deep breath. Feel that right in your lungs. Welcome to Calgary. Tell me you're in Canada without telling me you're actually in Canada. Cannabis. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about the Sorry. Cannabis. Sorry about the candidate. What? what? Staple for tennis players. So a little bit of our pro tip. Avocados are actually really good. A little expensive though. Not as cheap as bananas, but I mean you could slap avocados like watermelon or like what Sverev does to his uh exes allegedly. But for avocados, what you want to do is grab them really soft and just kind of roll around your palm and just have enough squish. This one's a little bit too hard. That's a good one. And then maybe three more of these bad boys. Hard. Obviously you want to look out for bruises too. This one's fine. Old brown never hurt anybody. At the liquor store because Calgary Co-op, the grocery store we at, didn't sell liquor. So Alex requested Mount Gay Rum, which is actually a good rum, but still gonna make fun of them because the name. <laughs> really good start for tennis players. So work was a little bit frustrating uh, because there were some things that were basically out of my hands in terms of uh, deploying for uh, <laughs> uh, software environment. Um, I'm a software developer, in case you guys haven't known, um, and Microsoft, the tech stack for using uh, specifically Canvas apps is not behaving as expected, which is kind of weird. So I'm um, just kind of a little frustrated on that one. but. Uh, after work, I took uh, one, no, sorry, a 45 minute nap, which is fantastic. Um, so right now it is 6.20 local time. Um, I'm gonna work out, and I'm not gonna have too high expectations for a workout room in a hotel, even though this hotel's fantastic. It's, there's a lot of good things here. And then I'll work out here for 45 minutes at so 6.30 around 7.15, and then we're gonna head to the tennis club, uh, which is eight minutes walking in order to uh, get used to the course, get used to the atmosphere and hit. But gotta work out now, burn some calories, get some sweat going, because we only have an hour on the tennis court, and that's not enough in my opinion. But my key card's not working. Excited for our first uh, hitting session for our ITF oh, Masters. It's my first hit in Alberta. First yeah. hit on like a challenger level court, so it's oh, yeah. fun. Hopefully my tennis goes up an extra point. Yep. <laughs> So this is pretty sick. Um, eight court indoor tennis facility. Uh, just looking at the structure, it, it's very open. Um, every other court, and it's two banks of four, which is eight. Every other court has that Calgary sign that you guys have probably seen um, in, on YouTube for like the smaller tennis channels, and you know the ITF Challenger stuff. They host stuff here. Um, actually, Dominic Kepfer, uh, Evo Karlovich. Uh, and uh, other, you know, relatively well-known um, world-level, tour-level players have have come here and won uh, their almost like annual annual tournament, like 120k uh, Canadian, which is pretty cool. So Alex is kind of geeking out over here with his buddy Mark. He's, he, he likes this, dude. I love this open concept ceiling. It's pretty cool, eh? Yeah. 
Lob City. Lob City? All lob day? City, yeah. I probably shielded Bob because last time I lobbed against him. How did your lobs go last time you played? <laughs> Shut up. Um, and there's a cafe over there and also a small a small gym with a few, uh, some dumbbells, some other uh, semi-assisted weights and also, uh, more importantly, a, a few treadmills and uh, actually pretty good looking uh, um, cycle machines to get myself warmed up after uh, you know the five minute walk from the hotel to here. So there's no cracks on the court. Uh, the viewing here is absolutely fantastic. Like in all honesty, if I were to build like a medium sized tennis club, um, the layout would be pretty damn similar to this. So I'm pretty excited to see how this actually plays uh, when downstairs and also the altitude chain's a little bit different. So I'll see how uh, not only my body, but also the strings, the racket, and also how the balls react differently here versus uh, my home state of Wisconsin, uh, specifically Milwaukee. So I'm gonna stretch, run a few more, uh, and then get warming up. Be exciting. Go hit some balls. Hey, you said balls. No wonder this is such a uh, uh, even. Whoa, this is laser. Oopsie. Should I cut that? Nah, I'll leave it. Um, that was embarrassing. That was really embarrassing. Uh, no wonder that uh, these courts are super clean, uh, not dusty. Uh, even though they're you know two years old, which you no, know, is fairly new. Uh, fairly young for a lifespan of an indoor tennis hard court, but you know, in case you didn't see, uh, this facility is clean, at least uh, on the court and the glass overlooking the court. Seems like every night almost, so it's really nice to take good care of it. Um, super clean facility. Keep in mind we're over a thousand feet above sea level, uh, so I think what I'm used to is like right at sea level. So I felt in my lungs a bit, and the balls were flying. So I feel like I get a, I get almost like push. I was, I was making balls fly, so it's it's good that we played a set. Um, so gotta get some booze in us, grab some food because I'm hungry, and then uh, get ready for a full day of work tomorrow, and then first day of the futures masters tour life. Doctor Evo, baseline grinder, Arthur Rittenkench, kind of unknown. Dominic Kepfer. And 2023, Alex Sweeta. Let's go. 